Hey FlossTube, welcome to my first video. Uh, my name is Kenny, and this is my channel Kenny Stitches. You can also find me on Instagram at Kenny Stitches. Um, a little bit about myself. I have been stitching since I was 12. Um, I was taught by my mom, and I started on plastic canvas. Um, I kind of got away from it for a while, and when I was 18 after I graduated, I really got back into it. Um, I discovered, you know, kits, and that's how I really started, and then a friend of mine, she showed me Mirabilia, and then it was all downhill from there. Um, a little bit about myself. I work at a hospital here in town. Um, I live in Indiana. I work in the emergency room, and I do patient registration, so I gather insurance, and I do demographic details, and obtain all the, like, consent forms and everything. I live with a great guy, his name is Brian. We've been together for over two years and together we have two dogs. Um, we have a little Yorkie named Smokey, or named Ziggy, and our little Schnauzer mix is named Smokey. Um, they can be a handful, but we love them. Um, some of my favorite cross-stitch designers, I love Mirabilia. That was really, outside of the kit realm, that was the first major pattern designer that I discovered. Um, and outside of kits, I, that was the first, like, I got Cinderella, and that was the first Mirabilia that I started and finished. I did it years ago on plain white Ada, but I still love her. She's in a box. She's not framed, but one day she will be, and then she'll be displayed on my walls. I also love Joan Elliott. I like Soda Stitch. I like Frosted Pumpkin. Those are probably my go-to designers that I like pretty much everything they do. Um, my favorite fabric dyers, I love Under the Sea Fabrics. I love Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, here lately, I have been getting uh, Crafty Kitten and Pole Stitches from stash groups that I have been using. Um, I've even got some Picture This Plus that I've used and I do like them a lot too, so. Um, though I'll probably have some orders to them in the future as well. Um, so I guess we will just dive right into some haul. My haul has been pretty minimal since the start of the year, um, kind of recouping from Christmas, and um, but we'll get there. So the first thing I have, um, Snow Days by Mirabilia. I got this from a stash on low group. It's now out of print but I got this from my friend Tina. Um, she decided that she was gonna sell it and I snatched it up very quickly. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll start him or what fabric he'll go on, but I love this one and I've wanted it for a while now. So yeah. And then the next thing I have is my January fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, it's gonna be hard to get a picture of, but this is Kelpie. It's 32 count Belfast linen. Um, it's a really soft aqua turquoise with some blue splotches in it. Um, it's fantastic. I will probably end up putting a mermaid on this, but which one, we will see. And then also I got from Under the Sea Fabrics, I got the newest Mirabilia Mermaid Lilith of Labrador. Um, I cannot wait to start this one. Um, these are the silks and the specialty threads that she came with. And then this is her bead pack. And I think right now in my mind, she's going to go on this piece of lapis from under the sea fabrics. It's a bluish lavender 32 count Belfast linen that I've had for a while in my stash that I think will really work for her. So and then um, the last of the haul I have is I had got needle minders from Gina, Gina's unique boutique on Etsy and, and Facebook. Um, these are two that I got and then this little elephant and Winnie the Pooh. So 
this last year, 2019 and 2020, has been all about whips for me. Um, my friend Debbie, Debbie Debla and I, she decided, we'd have talked into probably October or November of 2018. She, like myself, is a serial starter. And we decided that we were going to do whips only in 2019. And, but we wanted to do something different. We wanted to earn our starts. So we came up with a group. It's called You Better Whip Bitch. It's a play on, you know, a Britney Spears song, Work Bitch. And what it is, is in the start of every year, you get three free starts um, to see, to use how you want any time in the year, any project you want, any time in the year you want to start it, you get three. For every five projects you finish and you earn a new start. So we did that in 2019 and I finished 11 or 12 projects, which have been a lot for me compared to years previous. My goal was to finish a Mirabilia because I hadn't finished one for three years prior. And I finished two Mirabilias. I finished Sun Goddess and At The Met. And then I finished several Noras and a couple other designs. So we went all through 2019 and we had, you know, random starts put in there for holidays, birthdays. We had a few, few starts put in. So, and then in December, we decided we were going to do this again. We decided this in November or October that we were going to do this again for 2020. So at the end of November, early December, we did start a Palooza. Everybody in the group could start whatever they wanted, however much they wanted, until January 1st, and then we would start again. So it's been, I think, successful for a lot of people. We have a few people in the group who are just um, innocent bystanders. They like to watch us. They like to encourage us. And some people, Tracy, like to antagonize and kind of just create a ruckus, but it's all in fun. So for 2020... My plans are, I want to finish one to two more Mirabilias. I want to finish my first Joan Elliott. Um, and I want to finish um, a whole row of a full coverage, like a whole row of pages of a full coverage, which full coverage is yet to be seen. But um, when I figure that out, you guys will know. So I'm going to show you my 2020 Whip Parade. These are whips that I will focus on solely in 2020. These are the ones right now that are calling to me the most that I want to stitch on, try to make progress, if not finish a handful of these. Some of them are big, so we'll see what happens. But my first one, this is a model. This is for Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, they are uh, form like Cassie's Needle Minders, Cassie's LuLaRoe Leggings. Um, her husband, Aaron, is a graphic designer, and he has started designing patterns for Cassie that she likes, and he's decided to sell his own patterns, so, um, I volunteered to stitch this model, and he has agreed to let me show you guys. So, this is, uh, she is currently not named yet. Um, we are toying around with some names, but she is stitched on Memory 32 Count Belfast from Picture This Plus. And as soon as I finish her, um, I'll send her back to Aaron and we will, he will get her released for purchase for everybody. And I will link their Etsy shop in the comments of this video. Um, my next whip, this is Halloween Kitty Mandala by Chatelaine. Um, and it's stitched on 32 count Opal Belfast looking glass from under the sea fabrics. Um, I think three years ago, a few of my friends kitted this for my birthday. They, or Christmas, they all decided the next year they wanted to do a Chatelaine start. And I hadn't had any Chatelaines. Um, I didn't really know Chatelaine. So I saw this one, they kitted it for me and I haven't touched it since. So this year I'd like to get some more done on that. Uh, my next whip, this is Canadian Beauty by Joan Elliott. And she 
is stitched on 28 count Nantucket Sky Jobelin from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, again, she hasn't been stitched on in a while, so it's probably going to be the theme of a lot of these whips. My next whip, this is Sweet Maple by my friend Karen at Meridian Designs. Um, I have seen this when she started sketching it, and I loved it, and I started it for my birthday start last year, and she is stitched on Dryad Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, my next whip is a big one. <laughs> it is the Brooks Books Alice in Wonderland set. I have the Queen of Parts done, and this is the Caterpillar. Um, it's stitched on a Opal Lugana. I'm not sure the name from Under the Sea Fabrics. I know it's discontinued, so it's not available anymore, but I previously did the Alice, Mad Hatter, and the White Rabbit when they were first released, and then Brooke said she was going to continue the series, so here we are again starting with all of them. <laughs> and then this is Dear Santa. Dear Santa, I've Been Good from Lizzie Kate. It's stitched on a polka dot fabric, I think from Zweigart. It's 32 count linen. Um, this Cathedral Woods Goddess, I love her. And when I got her, I started her. She was um, a start that was given to the group that we're in. Um, and she is on Busy Izzy Belfast from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. She is, the top half of her is completely stitched. And then I barely made a dent into the bottom half. <laughs> where all her leaves and everything kind of get crazy. But she's one that, she's one I think I want to finish for sure next, this year. Um, Luna Mystica by Bella Fien Filipina Designs. Um, I, this was a start from Star to Palooza that I barely got a start in. This petite treasure braid here, I stitched in the wrong color to start with, so I had to frog all that out and restitch this. This is on, it's called Nightshade. It is by Sugar Maple Fabrics, who is now defunct. Um, my friend Cassie has, she showed me her piece of Nightshade, and I've wanted it for years, and she's promised me when she goes, or quit stitching or whatever, that she will leave it for me. So I found this on eBay, and it's, it was mine. I bought it. I didn't care what I had to pay for it, but I bought it. So next is Elegant Squids by Ink Circles. This is stitched on 32 count Chesapeake Bay by Under the Sea Fabrics. I swapped the called for threads for two purple Gloriana silks, and I frogged this squid four times. So it hasn't seen the light of day for probably two years. <laughs> but again, I think it's ready to come out of timeout and be stitched on again. Um, my next project, I am horrible with stitch alongs, guys. Um, I start them and I get, you know, a couple months in and then they fall by the wayside. So this one is the Woodland Sampler by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it was in timeout because I stitched this deer here in the wrong shade. He should be brown. I mixed up the symbols and stitched it in a golden yellow. I'm still not sure if I'm going to frog it or if I'm just going to leave it. Um, right now he kind of blends with the fabric, but eh, we'll see. Next is Lady of Mystery by Mirabilia. She is stitched on Gaia Jobelin. I think it's 32 count Jobelin from Under the Sea Fabrics. 
I love her. I love the rose work. I love her face. Um, I'm not going to love stitching her dress, but that's par for the course with Mirabilia. But I cannot wait for her to be done and framed on my wall. So the next one, Twin Mermaids, also by Mirabilia. Um, probably picking up a theme. This is, as far as she is, this is one of the twins, and this is stitched on Junebug 28 Count Jobelin from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I don't have a picture of my next whip, but this is Queen Mariposa by Mirabilia. She is stitched on 28 Count Christmas in Williamsburg Lugana, Opal Lugana from Under the Sea Fabrics. And then this is Miss Cherry Blossom. I love her. I love geishas. Um, my friend Debbie, also obsessed with geishas. Um, but she is so pretty. Her face is so soft. I love the color palette. And she is stitched on um, Sniff and Sneeze Jobelin from Oh, either Pole Stitches or Crafty Kitten. I really can't remember, but um, she's one that also I'd like to really put some progress into this year. That sleeve and that ruffles, all she has done. Um, I only have a black and white picture of this one, but this is Moon, Moon's Out, Brooms Out by Autumn Lane Stitchery. This is stitched on... Um, Astraeus 28 Opal Cashel. Um, I will only stitch on 28 count linen if it's opal. I do not like the feel and the give of regular 28 count. So that is that. <laughs> Another stitch long I've fallen behind on. This is the Frosted Pumpkin Into the Jungle. It's stitched on Dreamsicle. 32 count Belfast linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, I will definitely get back to this this year. The blocks stitch up quick. The border, probably not so much, but that's one that probably could easily get done this year. Next is um, Autumn Fairy by Joan Elliott. Uh, this was the first Joan Elliott pattern I bought, the first Joan Elliott I started. And it might be the first one I finish four years later. <laughs> and she is stitched on Fern. Um, 28 Count Jobelin from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Next is the Singa series from Silver Creek. I have all four parts, but I've only finished one block. It is stitched on 55 count autumn from under the sea fabrics. And I've got my needle minder on here just to show you the size of this pattern. Um, so it's one pattern is almost as big as a little bit bigger than a needle minder. My sew block is complete. Um, so I want to get back to this as well and maybe finish this one this year. The 55 counts kind of it goes in spurts. I gotta really focus on it and pay attention. So, next is Quaker Mermaid by RETM Designs. Um, I am I'm bummed Ari quit designing. I loved Alice. She's I finished Alice. Um, I have Oz started and I have Quaker Mermaid started. Um, this is stitched on. It's not a lot started, but I have a seahorse and the mermaid's arm in her face. Um, this is 40 count Caribbean Tides Opal from Under the Sea Fabrics. Next is a little Christmassy pattern, Ornamental Joy from Country Cottage Needleworks. And it is stitched on cobblestone uh, 28 count 
Jobelin from Fiverlicious. This is one that'll definitely be knocked out this year. Uh, next is Mary and Bright from Cottage Garden. I love these bird series. I have, I think, six of them purchased and one started, and that's this one here. So that's as far as I got. This was a start of Palooza start, and um, this is stitched on Whimsical Winter Opal Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics. Next is, it's a GGR Designs. It, I think in English is Peacock Tree of Life. Um, I won't try to butcher the French. Um, it's stitched. I stitched it with um, this Dinky Dyes color. It's Down Under Blues. I purchased this blue at a retreat. Also, this was a start of Palooza start. And this is stitched on 40 count. Um, 40 count Willow Wisp opal from hand dyed fabrics by stephanie um i love this the little peacock up here he's my favorite i love him and i can't wait to get back to this after i finish the um, geisha model for aaron next is map of hawk run hollow my friend julie and i started this together she started it on 28 count over one. I started it on opal 40 count and she got a lot further than I did. So um, this is opal autumn 40 count from under the sea fabrics. And I love Hawk Run Hollow. I just have not finished one, but maybe this year. Pile's getting low. Um, this is Sweet Bears from Soda Stitch. My friend Debbie finished this last year, or she's almost finished. Um, and I love these Sweet Bears. They have a Tree Bears that I've also started, but Sweet Bears is first on my agenda. And it is stitched on Snapdragon, Opal Lugana from Crafty Kitten. Uh, this was purchased in a stash sale, but I love this fabric. And then... My last whip, guys, for 2020. This is Praiseworthy Stitches Simple Gifts Halloween. Um, I started this at a retreat in October, the Michigan uh, Stitch Retreat. And this is stitched on uh, 32 count Opal Glatzenberry Tour from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I love this green. I've waited for a pattern to put on this green and I saw somebody in Stitch Mania or one of the Halloween groups who stitched this pattern in the DMC conversion on green. So when I saw that, I knew that I had this green and that was what it was gonna be for. So those are all my 2020 whips that I right now in my mind are the ones I wanna work on the most. Um, yeah. So I wanna thank you guys for tuning into my first video. I will probably be back for a second video um, and I will do a full whip parade down the road. Um, I have close to 180 whips, so I need to have more time off to, you know, my craft room's a disaster right now. So I will get things organized, pull those whips, and we will do a full 180 whip parade. Um, Thank you for watching my first video. You guys can find me on Instagram at Kenny Stitches. Um, if you liked my video, you want to see more, please subscribe. I will definitely be back with a second video. And thanks for watching. Bye.